Hello everybody and welcome to another game news roundup. Today we are focusing on PlayStation and apparently they've been hit with layoffs as well as um, from a couple weeks ago at this point, but Sony Inter Interactive Entertainment has shut down first, or will be shutting down, I should, excuse me, uh, first party developer Pixel Opus, the studio behind Concrete Genie and Entwined on June 2nd, so the time is recording. They'll be shutting down in a little over two weeks, the first party developer Pixel Opus. Um, indie Studio, I believe they have like 20 employees around or so. Um, so yeah, P Pixel Opus in a tweet from May 5th said, Dear friends, our Pixel Opus adventure has come to an end. As we look to new futures, we wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to the millions of passionate players who have supported us and our mission to make beautiful imaginative imaginative games with heart we are so grateful and a sony representative in a statement sent to GameSpot stated playstation studios regularly evaluates its portfolio and the status of studio projects to ensure they meet organizations short and long-term strategic objectives as part of a recent review process it has been decided that pixel opus will close on june 2nd so the studio was founded in 2014 and released Entwined in the same year for the PS5, PS4, and PS Vita. Yes, you remember that handheld? Yep, yep. Handheld, excuse me. Um, and the studio would later release uh, Concrete Genie in 2019 for the uh, for the PS4, excuse me, should be PS5, should be PS4, and was working on an un they were working on an unannounced project in collaboration with Sony Pictures Animation, which has now been canceled due to well, the studio being shut down. And with Sony having done a review process, it looks like they have stopped work on potentially two other projects, uh, likely at this point. Um, so PlayStation partner Deviation Games has been hit with major layoffs, according to one of the employees laid off. Um, so yeah, Deviation Games, who partnered with Sony Interactive Inter Entertainment on an original IP, has been hit with layoffs. Uh, several employees at the studio have announced on social media that they have been laid off and that they are now looking for work. Uh, sources told Video Games Chronicle that as many as 90 employees as Deviant Games have been laid off. And originally, when you looked at Deviation Games' uh, LinkedIn page for the studio, there was like 130, 140 employees. So 90 being laid off means the majority have been laid off, which makes me think the game that they were working with um, for PlayStation has now been canceled. And as I said... This is likely following PlayStation's review of its games um, that it's in development with um, first-party studios and with second- and third-party partners. Um, so, from several people um, who've been laid off, um, so yeah, principal technical artist at Deviation Games, Christopher Berry, in a statement on LinkedIn post, on a LinkedIn post, um, a bunch of my colleagues and friends were laid off from Deviation Games today. If any recruiters have open positions, please consider hiring. Some of these wickedly talented folks. Former associated producer uh, Jared B. added um, in his own statement, Unfortunately, I was affected by the layoffs today at Deviation Games. I'm looking for roles in production immediately. Um, a senior outsource specialist, and again, in their own LinkedIn post, I'm looking for a new role and would appreciate your support. Thank you in advance for any connections. Uh, respect to Deviation Games and those who are impacted by the layoffs. Best of luck to everyone. It's been an awesome two years. With deviation, and I'm sorry to see this happen to the studio and the team. And the former games producer, uh, producer, um, also revealed he was also laid off. Unfortunately, my time at Deviation Games has come to an end, and I was caught up in a major layoff. Again, laying credence to one of the sources telling Video Games Chronicle that as many as 90 employees have been laid off. Potentially two thirds, three quarters of the studio has been let go. Uh, thank you to Deviation Games for the opportunity and all those that I worked with. Hope to run into you again in the future. In the meantime, I am now looking for production roles in the gaming industry. Um, and in September of last year, the co-founder and chief creative officer of the studio, Jason Blundell, uh, did leave the studio. Again, in September of 2022. And he was the former co-studio head of Call of Duty developer Treyarch. Um, he was also a lead creator on the popular Zombies mode in Call of Duty. Um, before he left the studio in 2020 and again founded uh, Deviation Games before he left it last September. And there's another rumor um, from Twitter user Timmer222 uh, um, got from a source that the devel uh, developer um, K 
Final Strikes Games was working on a game with Sony. Uh, that game is a sci-fi shooter. Um, has been canceled and the studio has laid off 40% of its staff. So, yeah, Sony has reportedly canceled an unannounced science fiction shooter that was in development at Final Strike Games. Um, according to a source who spoke with Twitter user Timmer222, uh, uh, the game was set to release for the PS5 and PC. The source also claims they were laid off from the studio, which has laid off 40% of its employees. Um, Final Strike's engineer, Ahmed uh, Khalifa, in a LinkedIn post, did announce he was laid off today, at least confirming that there were layoffs at the studio. Um, today marks an end of a journey for me at Final Strike, uh, said the software engineer. I got impacted by a recent round of layoffs, acting like yeah, the, the number of people have been laid off, and I'm looking to start a new journey. If you know of any opportunities for mid-senior level software development opportunities, please hit me up. I have good experience working with Unreal and Unity game engines. Uh, so Final Strike Games, they were founded in March 2016, and they have studios in Bellevue, Washington, and Vancouver, Canada. Uh, the official website for the developer, at the time of this writing, from five days ago, so the developer, um, the team had uh, released Rocket Arena in July 2020 and supported live service games on Fortnite, as supported live service um, on Fortnite since June 2021. The website, at least at the time when I wrote this, uh, mentioned that the developer is working on an unannounced triple PV triple A PvP shooter for PC and console, which they have been partnered um, with Sony. Unlikely what this game was that is unannounced, mind you. Um, and it looks like their website still mentions the unannounced triple A PvP shooter. Um, but we will see. If you know what I mean? Um, how things go, but obviously they're still working on Do they have Where did I go right by it? Um, they're still obviously supporting uh, Development on Fortnite here um, As a live service game as well as obviously they did Rocket Arena and they still announced that they're working on an announced triple uh, PvP, but even if it's been a cancel they might have update they might not have updated their website yet um, they also have experience on a bunch of other games here um, as a support studio. Uh, Gears games. Halo. Plants vs. Zombies. Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously Call of Duty. God of War. Ascension. Fallout 76. And a bunch of other games that they have worked on. Um, so yeah, um, it, looking a lot, it looks like against Sony has done a review over games. They have a development by first party studios as well as by partners. And they've shut down again. First party studio, Pic Pixel Opus, um, behind the studio behind Concrete Genie and Entwined, as well as potentially canceling two games that were in development by partners. Uh, Deviation Games, which potentially had three quarters, upwards of three quarters of employees laid off. You know, 90 employees have been laid off, potentially. Um, and that the game that they were working on has likely been, can likely been canceled. And another source uh, claims that Final Strike Games... Unannounced sci-fi shooter has been canceled and the studio's laid off 40% of staff. And obviously it has been confirmed at least the studio was hit with some layoffs. So, um, yeah, and also you have the LinkedIn page for Final Strike Games. Currently list 82 employees, um, which is now down to 70 employees uh, for Final Strike Games. So, like it, looking likely at least there have been some layoffs for sure. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for today's game news roundup. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on all of this. And I must say, hope everyone who's been affected by his layoffs is able to find a new job quickly. A good role at a good gaming company. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.